Hello and welcome to this next video regarding the use of EMC Data Protection Advisor version 6 and the REST API. In a previous video we did actually see how to acquire and initiate a REST client. And we also saw how to use a simple GET statement to read information from DPA. In this video we will use an alternative browser-based REST client and we shall issue a GET statement to identify a backup node and use a POST statement to generate a DPA report. As a recap, here is the construct for the URI, the Uniform Resource Identifier, used within the REST API. As always, please refer to the EMC Support website for full documentation at the link shown. OK, let's see how this works. So in this video, we're going to look at generating a report through the REST API. And here we can see a report generated through the DPA UI showing an all jobs report for node name LNWEBUAT001 using the backup all jobs template and the time period of the last day. So let's see how we can do this using the REST API. In this video, we will be using the Postman extension for Google Chrome browser. The first task that we have to perform is to create a header for the content type, inserting the value as shown on the screen. We now enter the URL of the DPA server to be interrogated. Create the resource to be used as shown. The percent %3D in this instance denotes the escape character. Selecting the GET method to acquire the information and send the request. The response to the request is shown in the text body, noting the status 200 OK message. The item we are interested in here is how DPA recognises the particular node we have specified, LNWEB UAT001. And we can see this is recognized through an ID string, which we shall copy away to our clipboard. The next step is to use this string to acquire a report. We modify the resource of the URI, as shown, and change the method from GET to POST. Selecting the raw option, we can now enter a script to enable us to query this particular report. Here is a pre-prepared script and I shall modify the report name, enter the node name from my clipboard and enter the time period of the last day. We can also see that we have options for the output format and here we have CSV and we can now send this request. We can see the status of 201 created and selecting the headers tab we can see that there is a location for the output report. Copying this location we can now transpose this into the URL section of the page. Again changing our method from POST back to GET and sending the request. Selecting the body tab of the response we can see the output which corresponds to the report we originally saw through the DPA UI. And this output can be presented in a number of formats and indeed may be copied to the clipboard for saving later. So, in just a few short minutes we have expanded our previous knowledge regarding the use of the GET statement and we can now use the POST statement to generate DPA report. Thank you for watching.